Hi, Olivia here. Would you ever eat strawberries and eggs together? Sounds a little weird, right? What if I told you that I was going to use these ingredients to make strawberry pancakes? That probably sounds a little more appetizing. See, it's all about my intended purpose. I'm choosing to put these and a few other ingredients together in this way to cook a delicious breakfast. Writers do this too. They take seemingly opposing ideas and use them to develop their viewpoint and message for a specific purpose. Antithesis and paradox are two of the rhetorical devices writers can use. Let's take a look at how Anna Quinlan uses antithesis and paradox in her essay, A Quilt of a Country. In A Quilt of a Country, Quinlan's purpose is to show the complexity of American society in a way that makes it human and personal. The ideas she communicates are like different ingredients that support her purpose, including the ideas that oppose or seem to contradict each other. For example, this sentence contains an antithesis. Tolerance and bigotry have opposite meanings. With tolerance, one accepts differences. With bigotry, one rejects differences or finds them unacceptable. Putting these contrasting ideas together highlights their differences. Quinlan uses the rhetorical device of antithesis when she writes about how tolerance and bigotry both exist in the United States, even though you'd expect only tolerance in a truly pluralistic nation. Calling attention to these opposing attitudes shows how the reality of the United States is more complex than the idea of the United States. But not everything that Quinlan contrasts forms an antithesis. For example, check out this sentence. Two things are compared using a parallel construction. But there's nothing really opposite about New York and Philadelphia. Paradox is another rhetorical device that combines opposites. In a paradox, the opposites work together to create a new idea. Quinlan writes that, amid all the failures is something spectacularly successful. Failure and success are opposites. In a paradox, they're kind of like dry flour and wet water. Together, these two opposites create something new, kind of like how water, flour, and yeast can be combined to make pizza dough. The paradox leads readers to understand that the successes are that much greater, or spectacular, because there are so many more failures. You realize that successes are much more difficult to achieve. The contrast also helps to demonstrate Quinlan's viewpoint that democracy, with its successes and failures, makes the United States strong and resilient. By using antithesis and paradox, Anna Quinlan effectively develops her viewpoint and message in a way that's engaging and relatable to her readers. These strawberry pancakes turned out great, by the way. Maybe I'll try making a pizza next, with some more interesting flavor combinations.